Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. With arrays in JavaScript, when you want to loop through them, you have four statements and you also have array methods like for each, filter, reduce, map, and a couple of them. But what if you want to loop through objects in JavaScript? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you four easy ways in which you can do that, which is the for in statement, object.keys, object.values, and object.entries. And I'll be showing you some examples here to show you how this method works. So let's jump right into it. I'll be using this object to show you the four ways in which you can loop through the properties of an object. So let's start from the first one, which is the for in statement. The for in statement allows you to loop through the keys of an object. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to say for, then I declare my variable for the key. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this key, or let me call call it prop. Then I have the in and then I have the object. And the curly bracket, I'm going to log the prop real quick so you can see what that looks like. When I run this file with no test, you can see that the prop is name, YouTube and language coming from name, YouTube and language. So right here, I can get the value of the object by saying object and then passing the prop as the property key. Then I'm just going to log prop and value. When I come back here and I run no test, you can see prop name, value dealer prop youtube value decode prop language value js the second way to loop through the properties of an object is using object dot keys the keys method of the object constructor returns an array of the keys in an object i'm going to show you what that looks like so i'm going to call these keys and then i have object dot keys and i pass the object argument here i'll console log the keys so you can see what that looks like you can see the keys array is an array of three values which is name youtube language which are the keys in this object so since the keys is now an array I can use array method on it so I can say for each key I'll get the value by saying object key then I console log key and value and I come here and I run no test again you can see key name value dillion key YouTube key language and so on the third way to look through the properties of an object is using object dot values object dot values is the opposite of object dot keys the values method of the object constructor returns an array of the values in an object I'll show you what that looks like also so constant values equals to object dot values and then I pass the object as the argument I'll console log this values so you can see what that looks like run node tests you can see dillion decode js which is coming from here the values dillion decode js since the values is an array i can call array methods like for each and then i'm just going to pass the value parameter and i'll just console log value and for you to get the key of the value in this object you can use different methods which is not the scope of this video i'm just going to console log the value here when i run node test again you can see dillion decode js which are the values in the object. The last approach for looping through object that I'll be showing you in this video is object.entries. The entries method of the object constructor returns an array of sub arrays where each sub array has two items. The first one is a key and the second one is a value. And this is sub arrays for the different properties in the object. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to say constant entries equals to object.entries and I pass the object argument. I'll log this to the console. console dot log entries then i run no test you can see that this is an array open close and then there are different sub arrays inside that array the first array has two values name and dillion which you can see is the name key and the dillion value the second sub array is youtube and decode which you can see is youtube key decode value and same thing for language and js language and js since the entries is now an array i can use array methods like for each again so i'm going to say entries dot for each i pass the entry parameter in the callback function now this entry is an array which has two values like i said the first value is the key the second value is the value so i can say constant key is equals to entry zero which is the index position for the first item in the array then i have constant value is equals to entry one when i console log key and value and i come back here and i run this with node node test you can see again name dillion youtube decode language js so these are the four ways which you can loop through objects in javascript if you found this video helpful please give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content